Welcome to Value FM. Just a reminder, FM is an abbreviation of For Money. So this is the Value for Money channel, where we hope to bring you reviews of Value for Money products. We will not present the latest and greatest, and hence most expensive tech, nor will we present the cheapest tech, but rather we hope to present what we believe to be Value for Money tech options. Today, I would like to share a comparison review of the Xiaomi My Smart Band 4 versus the Volcano Quest 2 series fitness bands. These are mid-range fitness bands ranging in price from 800 Rand for the Xiaomi Band 4 and 1000 Rand for the Volcano Quest 2. The Xiaomi was purchased by an international online retailer for 50 US dollars. And the Volcano was recently purchased from a physical musical retail outlet for 999 Rand. So, first off, the bands both represent fair value for money. They both look, feel and operate like quality products. My daughter has had the show me for some 8 months now and my wife has had the Volcano for about a month now. So what do the boxes tell us? The show me, or rather the Volcano. And the show me box. Well, what they tell us is that they both offer full touch screens, Bluetooth, heart rate monitors, multi sport various exercise modes, notification displays, support for different screens or watch faces built-in pedometers, sleep monitoring, both support Android and Apple phones, and both are made in China. In addition, the Volcano purports to have GPS mapping. And I'll just show you that. And down here as well. So in addition, the Volcano purports to have GPS mapping. Neither the manual nor the phone app say or show anything about this. The watch does have a feature to switch the GPS on and off. To date, we have not been able to prove that recorded distances are more accurate or different with a GPS switched on or off. So, how do the two watches compare? Well, feature for feature, water resistance, the Volcano Quest 2 is reported to have IP68 but doesn't have a swim mode. The Xiaomi has a 5 atmosphere water resistance and has a swim mode. We've not tested the swim mode, my daughter's too scared to. Um, in terms of battery life range, the Volcano is advertised as 20 days, which is supported by real life experience with moderate use and has 135 milliamp hours. Um, that 20 day uh, battery life is reduced to only 5 hours with GPS usage. The Xiaomi is up to 10 days and has 160 milliamp hour, and this 10 days is also supported by real life experience. The charge time for the Volcano is listed as 3 hours and we can vouch for that. The charge time for the Xiaomi is not listed or tested and my daughter says that um, she hasn't tested it herself. Um, Bluetooth, uh, the Volcano has version 4.2 and the Xiaomi has version 5.0 BLE. The warranty is listed on the Volcano Quest 2 box as a 12 month limited warranty and I couldn't find any um, indications of a warranty for the Xiaomi My Smart Band 4. Otherwise, the look, feel, quality and usage of both watches are much the same. So, what are these fitness bands like in real life? Well, they are sturdy, but light enough to not be uncomfortable for extended wearing. They provide sturdy adjustment notches in the wristband. Daily wearers and users of both have not expressed any discomfort or irritation wearing the watches or fitness bands. 
Both enjoy the pedometer and watch functions the most. Operation and sensitivity of the touch screens are comparable, as are the functions, with maybe the show me reported as being slightly easier to operate, but this may also be a generational thing. In closing, the show me my SmartBand 4 is currently retailing at 699 on most online retailers and the Volcano Quest 2 fitness band is available at 1299 at most online retailers. At the time of purchase the My Band 4 was not available locally and hence incurred a 100 rand delivery surcharge. The Volcano Quest 2 was purchased recently from a retail music outlet for 999 rand. So the difference between the two, the 1000 Rand and the 700 Rand, the 300 Rand premium would explicably be for the GPS functionality for which we have been unable to discern any measurable benefits. We will then leave it to you, the viewer, to decide which represents better value and is the one to get. Thanks for watching and check out our other reviews. We hope you enjoyed Value FM. Cheers.